Hello everyone, this is Ange. So one of the many reasons why people prefer to read visual novels on Steam is due to the fact that it inherently tracks how long you've been reading a visual novel. But what if for some reason you don't own a visual novel on Steam, or it's just not available to be on Steam, like for example, if it's a fan translation only, or something limited, like a non-Steam platform like GOG or Join, etc. I'd like to introduce you to a nice little app called VN Manager, developed by Micah686. This is a nice little app that I saw him post on the Visual Novel subreddit several years ago, and it's been one of my favorite programs to use since. As his website so clearly says, it's a program to keep track of your visual novels. If you like organization of being able to see which visual novels you have, then this is a great tool to use that for. In addition, the tool keeps track of the last time you read the visual novel, as well as your total read time. The other cool thing about VN Manager is that it makes itself stick out as a specific visual novel tool by taking information and picture assets from VNDB so you don't have to go to VNDB on your own when looking up information. Anyway, I've explained enough about what the program is, so let's show you how to use it. While this is the main page that has the download setup button, I would actually highly recommend going to the releases page for VN Manager so you can find the latest stable version. As of this video, it looks like it's release 1.0.8, so definitely get this .exe version. So I won't bore you with the installation process, as obviously I already have it installed. As you can see, I have a whole lot of visual novels that I may or may not read in the future, or I've already read. So for the tutorial, I'm just going to show you a few of the cool features you can use when you have VN Manager installed. So let's start by adding a visual novel. As said earlier, one of the cool features of VN Manager is being able to take information and pictures from VNDB. So if you click Source, VNDB, all, this op all these options change and I highly recommend using this one, especially if you're a VNDB user. So you can search by ID or name. If a searching ID would be faster if you already have the uh, VNDB page looked up, but for, let's say you don't have it set up. So let's go search for the name on VNDB. So I'm going to add Primal X Parts 2 and then click this. I heavily recommend you uh, put in the exact name or pretty much close to the exact name because if you may remember on VNDB they tend to use the Japanese names of the visual novel so you could try the uh, localized name of a visual novel if it exists but it may not show up or might not be clear but for this tutorial I'm just picking one that's really easy since it has an English title by default. So let's put Primal X Hearts 2. Now when we click Path we want to find the EXE that you would use to open the visual novel and thankfully we have that already right here. Um, if you want to put your own custom icon or custom arguments like for when you're uh, opening the VN you could do that but I generally think just setting it up like this is perfectly fine so when we click submit it's going to take uh, several well, several seconds probably like 30 seconds just to get all the information from VNDB and even if it says not responding don't worry that means it's generally working all right this took about uh, a little over 30 seconds but as you can see we now have primal x hearts 2 added here there's a little glitch where the, for some reason there's two uh versions of it that's probably because i added it before and then re-added it so try not to do what i just did but now as you can see since I added it before, we already have a playtime already set up here. But more importantly, you can actually choose to play the visual novel from this uh, from VN Manager. And it, as you can see, it's taken the summary from VNDB, it's gotten all the non-spoiler tags, all the plot setting style themes, it's even um, organized by like putting sexual stuff like down here and all this stuff. Though. And even link it even shows uh, related visual novels up here, which is pretty cool. You can even go to a tab up here that shows you the different characters and their 
little profiles that they have on VDB. There's also uh, screenshots that they that are from that are taken straight from VDB. Uh, as you can see, I chose not to get the NSFW screenshots just because I, I don't want to you know get destroyed by YouTube. But yeah, that's the that's the first part of uh, just adding a game on uh, to VN Manager. Pretty cool stuff. Now I want to quickly show off how to keep track of time using VN Manager. As you can see, I already have Primal X Arts 2 on here and I do have some playtime. And I just wanna let you know that if you want to actually keep track of playtime, you have to open the visual novel by clicking on the play button. If you don't click on the play button, then playtime will not be tracked through VN Manager. So yeah, just make sure to do that unless you for some reason don't want playtime to get tracked for some reason. So let's click on that. As you can see, the playtime went up from 8 hours 11 minutes to 8 hours 12 minutes. So yeah, just definitely make sure to open the visual novel through here, but for the most part, you should be able to just exit the visual novel through the VM itself whenever you're done. One minor but cool little feature on VM Manager is being able to customize the name that shows up for the visual novel. So as you can see, I have Hoshio Yume Mirai and Kiniro Lovriche as two of the games on my currently reading list. But one thing you may not know is that this is actually the perfect edition of Hoshiori, but it doesn't actually show in the title. But if I want to change that, I can just do that by clicking on the triple line button here. And the, on the Update Paths tab, as you can see, there's a custom game title. So let's call it Hoshiori Perfect Edition. And then click Update. Game has been updated, but VN Manager is kind of weird where things like this don't update unless you change tabs or something. So we can click all and click here. And then now it says Hoshiori Perfect, but looks like it can't cover the whole uh, name on here. So we'll just, you just have to know that it's Hoshiori Perfect. Um, and we can do the same thing for uh, something like Kinero Love Reach. This is the Japanese title, but the Eng official English uh, localized title is King Koi. So we to click that and click update. We'll have to do the thing again. We'll, you have to click this and then go back and just go back to the category. And as you can see, now it is King Koi. So just a pretty cool feature if you want to use that. So now I'm actually going to do a little demonstration of categories. So as you can see, there's a little section here called categories. And right now I only have two, all and currently reading. So the cool thing about categories is this is your own little way you can customize how you want to uh, show like what visual novels you've read or not read, or you can make something fun like organized by genres, etc. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to just use something that I've already started reading but I haven't finished yet, Sugar Style. So if I click the little button here, oh sorry, let me go back. If I click this three star or this little three line thing button, uh, you can go to categories. And as you can see, there's add category, remove category, create category, and delete category. Kind of confusing at first. So add category is actually adding to a category that already exists. And removing category is removing, from a, removing a visual novel from a category. But if we want to create a new category and put this visual novel in it, we would have to do it in here. So let's say, let's call this stalled. And click create category. Um, as you can see, if we click X, then the stalled category got put on here now. So as you can see, we just created the category, but we haven't actually added the visual novel to it yet. So let's go back to sugar style. Go back to categories then put it under the stalled category. Then when we go back, now it's in here. Pretty neat, huh? But let's say we want to remove it from just from this category. Well, we just go to remove category in the category section, click remove category, and it should be out. 
But one little weird feature of VN Manager is when you do stuff like this, it won't uh, refresh right, right away. So you'd have to go to another category and go back. And as you can see, now it's gone. Um, if you want to delete categories, you can do it from basically any visual novel by clicking like the three lines button I just done earlier, then click delete category, deletes, go to clicks, install, and click delete category. Once that's done, as you can see, that one refreshes right away. There's, there's a little settings button on the top right, there's a little gear here. When you click that, it just shows you the very few uh, settings we have in this VN Manager application. Basically, it all relates to um, which assets you get when importing stuff from VNDB. So right now, I just make it so I only get safe for work sexual or safe or safe for work uh, screenshots, no violent screenshots, and basically zero spoilers and tags and description stuff. But if you really wanted to, you could definitely put minor and major spoilers, violent and brutal violent CGs or picture screenshots, and then suggestive, suggestive and explicit uh, screenshots. Then when you're done, click save. I haven't used reset application myself, but I would assume it would be for you're resetting the whole application, removing every single thing from VN Manager, including uh, timestamps and all that stuff. And when you're done with this, you can click save and then click the gear button to get out. Might be kind of confusing because it's kind of weird like that. There's one little weird little quirk I want to go over before ending the video. So as you can see, if you reach a playtime of over 24 hours, you'll see that it says playtime one day four hours and two minutes um, for some reason the way this uh, app is coded once you go above 24 hours it gets converted to days which I guess is kind of weird so basically if you want to read a visual novel that's definitely over 24 hours you're gonna have to do a little bit of math by just getting the days and then multiply that by 24 to get the amount of hours for this day, then just add it to the hours here so you can get more accurate, an accurate representation. But anyway, that about wraps it up for this video. I know this thing is a little bit minimalistic, but I still really like it and heavily recommend it to anybody who wants to read visual novels and they don't have an inherent way to track their read time and library through Steam or something. If you have any questions about this video or VN Manager, feel free to leave a comment below in this video Though I do recommend trying to find a way to reach out to the creator, Micah686, if you want to request new features, or, or you could, which you could likely do through his GitHub link that I posted below.